page object model is a very popular pattern in QA automation. This is a pattern you use when you design tests or frameworks for testing the front end. All it's doing is, is creating a class for each page. I'll show you an example with this application here. This application here is an e-com app and you want to test it and you have different pages. You have the home page, you have the cart page, the checkout page and my account page. And in your code, I'm going to go to my Python PyTest framework. In your code, what you're going to do is you're going to create a class for each of those page. As you can see here, I have a class for home page. I have a class for cart, for checkout, for my account. And my account signed in and my account signed out because the page looks different. So it's a different class. And in each of those classes, you have functions that will interact with that particular page. So if you're on the home page, you want to click on add to cart. You want to click on the drop down to sort. You want to do this, you want to do that. So in this class, on the home page class, you write functions that will do those things. On the cart page, you create a whole different class for the cart and you have methods that would apply coupon. I would input into a coupon field. I will click on checkout. I would click on count. Whatever you do on that page, you have functions or methods in the class for that page. So that's literally what page object model means. It's a design pattern. It's the way you design your tests. And the advantage with that is all the interaction with the page will remain in the classes and your tests will remain on their own. When locators change, when things change on the page, you don't have to touch the test. You just update the page pattern or the page model, right? The classes. So it makes it super simple. So if you are learning QA automation and you are going to do front end testing, there's back end and front end, and make sure your training contains page object model. And if you have if you already done some training, go ahead and look up page object model pattern. It will come up on interviews all the time because the most popular pattern. So in this video, I just want to quickly uh, introduce you to that. If you're totally new to automation, um, I have a free course for software testing fundamentals. It's focused more on the manual, but then it has a lot of API and SQL stuff. You'll find that right there in the bio and in the description and um, check it out. It's a totally free course. And if you want to take it further, check out my membership, which is an awesome program with 10 plus courses to make you uh, become a software engineer in test. All right. I'll see you on the next one.